The Everlasting Metamorphoses, A Journey Through Myth and Transformation In the twilight of ancient Rome, where the whispers of gods mingled with the murmurs of mortals, there existed a realm where the lines between reality and myth blurred. It was a realm woven by the masterful pen of Ovid, a realm known as the Metamorphoses. In the heart of this poetic tapestry lies the essence of transformation, where beings both mortal and divine are swept away by the currents of fate, love, and power. It begins with chaos and creation, as the universe itself takes shape under the watchful gaze of the gods. From the primordial chaos emerge the first divinities, and among them, Jupiter, the ruler of the heavens, wielder of thunderbolts, and master of fate. His story intertwines with that of Juno, his queen, whose jealousy and wrath often sparked the flames of divine drama. Yet, amidst the celestial turmoil, there exists a tale of love pure and enduring. It is the story of Apollo, the radiant god of the sun, and Daphne, a nymph of the earth. Their fateful encounter, spurred by Cupid's mischievous arrow, led to a chase through the woods that culminated in Daphne's transformation into a laurel tree, a symbol of eternal glory and unyielding love. But not all transformations were born of love and beauty. The tale of Narcissus, the youth ensnared by his own reflection, serves as a cautionary reminder of vanity's folly. His obsession with his own image led to his metamorphosis into a flower, forever doomed to gaze upon his likeness in the still waters of the pond. As the pages of the metamorphoses turn, the stories weave a rich tapestry of myth and legend. From the tragic love of Pyramus and Thisbe, whose blood-stained mulberry tree stands as a testament to their devotion, to the cunning of Mercury, whose trickery knows no bounds, each tale unfolds with a blend of wonder and woe. Among the mortals, there are heroes whose deeds echo through the ages. Hercules, the mighty demigod, faces trials both Herculean and harrowing as he strives to atone for his sins. His labors, from slaying the Nemean lion to capturing the golden-horned hind, stand as testaments to the indomitable spirit of humanity. And then there are the tragedies that haunt the heavens themselves. The tale of Phaethon, son of the sun, who dared to wield his father's chariot and steer the course of the sun across the sky. His reckless ambition ended in catastrophe, as the fiery steeds ran amuck, scorching the earth and casting Phaethon into the depths of the river Eridanus. Through each transformation, Ovid reveals the intricate dance of fate and free will, of love and loss that binds mortals and gods alike. From the metamorphosis of Io, the maiden transformed into a heifer to escape the lustful gaze of Jupiter, to the tragic tale of Orpheus, whose music could move even the stones. The poem resonates with the timeless themes of the human experience. And so, as the final verses of the metamorphoses fade into the ether, they leave behind a legacy that transcends the boundaries of time and space. For within its pages lie not just stories of gods and heroes, but reflections of the eternal struggle between change and permanence, between mortality and immortality, a testament to the enduring power of myth and the transformative nature of the human spirit.